we're going to build a 10 page website today. Uh, right now, it, the domain is on the server. It's on the cPanel. We've installed a Namecheap. It is part of an add on domain. And now we're going to install WordPress and uh, use our quick designer to get to 10 pages super quickly. So these are pages that are eventually going to be built out to 25 pages with emails, with landing pages. And uh, basically, they could take this, the client could take this and just start running ads on it or start scaling it up with content, right? So they have already been paying 6,000 for something like this. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Uh, so with the work that we have, this is how we're gonna do it. So with the domain, you log into cPanel, you know, with all that, and you just wanna click down here on the scripts, the so like this apps installer. You could install WordPress a different way. There are ways to do it to do this, uh, but I'm just going to use this quick installer. And uh, since we're building it with this SSL, you want to use the S here, tatupi.com and directory, it doesn't matter. Site name, tatupi, custom putters, handmade, one of handmade gif so I'm going to have my root access admin here. First, I'm going to hide this. I don't want you to see it. Uh, then I have this email of mine. It's going to be forwarding me updates. All right. This is the main root admin. If I lose this, I lose it all. Um, and we don't care for the, for this stuff yet. Not yet. We don't need to worry about that. Maybe the advanced options. Nah, no, I don't care too much about that. So it's going to be updating the, it's installing WordPress, right? This used to be a step that would take most people forever, but now it is installed, right? It, it used to look like this. Now it looks like this. It's got this little cactus, right? Fun, right? Now, for every WordPress domain, the default is wp-admin as the slug on the domain. Once, but once you're able to log in, this is completely fresh. There's nothing on it besides WordPress and a few hello world posts. So we're gonna make some cool stuff on it. So what we gotta do first is uh, install a theme, right? So we go to themes, add new. And as it's loading, we're using the Divi theme. And all, all the plugins and all the themes are within a folder, right? There's a list of maybe 10 or 20 different uh, plugins that we can use depending on what the client needs. This could be ranging from apps like FOMO. To apps like Yoast SEO. So, I don't know why everything's so slow here. Maybe it's the 30 tabs I have opened. There we go. So, I'm not going to care about any of these. These are like the free ones that the rest of the world has access to. So, I'm going to upload my, our own theme. It's going to be better, right? So, I do have a shared Dropbox with the web developments. And I have Divi. It's just normal Divi.zip, right? So what this theme is going to do is allow us to quickly prototype and build out pages very rapidly. So I'm not going to go and install all the plugins. I'm just going to install a few that are critical. Make sure you activate the themes and the plugins. Thanks, let's wake it up. So in order to use Divi fully, we have this unique plugin called Divi Builder. Right? And what the Divi Builder does is it takes the best part of those uh, website building apps like CreateSpace, Wix, and Weebly, and it allows you to create the pages on a visual level, right? There's no coding, zero coding required, right? Absolutely no coding required. So I'm going to go through, add one more plugin. Oh, there's headers and footer. 
which is a which is a an app that allows us to edit the top and bottom headers and footers. So if we're installing Google Analytics, this is how we do that really quickly. And there's one more for Yoast. I'm just going off my memory. You would be using the same shucks. You'd be using the same folder for everything. So this cycling through this and installing, you know, the minimal apps that we need to get going. But otherwise, starting off a new site, we would just add all the plugins before we start development. Uh, so with the Divi Builder, there's one little nuance we need to get access to. Excuse me. Ignore behind the curtain. There's this password that we need, which you can get from me, and it is a special code that allows us to get. It's, it's within New Divi install. Right. So with that, we just need to go to updates. You can get the, the credentials from me, uh, but usually the sites are just built with that in mind. Now, this is what the site looks like now. Right? Looks like used to look like that, then you change the theme, and now it looks like this, right? We got rid of the cactus, right? So there's still the same steps every time to go through this, and what we're just going to try and focus on is to just build out the site pages, right? So when I go to pages, with the Divi Builder now built out, I can now build based on uh, an input. And the inputs are the design and maybe a, a layout map of where and what all the pages are going to be. But we use Elegant Themes. Elegant Themes is amazing. right? And going down the list with what I spoke to with the client, we're using this as a template. And he's not selling cars. Hosting company. Oh my god, that's great. So these are everything that we can build out. You can build out these layouts using this process pretty quickly, right? But for this, we're gonna build out seven pages from this template. And of course, you can take this about page and then build it out. You can take this contact page and build it out, this home page, build it out, um, change out the, the content, and it should be pretty cool. Right? So Looking at this uh, this page that we're trying to build out, we're going to be using the Divi Builder using that theme. We're using this car looking thing, right? And then we're going to replace the cars with product photos and things. So I'm just going to go down uh, in order and just quickly build these up. I just click use Divi Builder, right? Make sure I save the draft because sometimes it doesn't like. I just made the page. Right. And click Visual Builder. See, this is cool because now I can edit directly. It's going to ask me to take a tour. No, I know what I'm doing, more or less. <clears throat> it's going to ask me to browse layouts, but you can always click on this purple thing and go to the plus sign. But you want to browse layouts. That's going to ask, which pre-made layouts do you want? And you could find this. You could just copy this and put that in right here. And it'll go directly to this right here. right? And so I'm going to click Use This Layout. Boom. That's it. So that's one of the seven pages. And as it's building up the page, it's importing the settings, designing it, and just overall just making that exactly what you saw on the other page. So right now, we're just going to try and build out all the pages. It's going to have all this default stuff, right? Just ignore the default stuff and just click Publish, right? No one's browsing this website. If you're browsing locally, right, it's the same deal. If you're developing on your computer or on the Internet, if this is a website that has people going to it, like it's they've been around for a while, develop locally. But this is, you know, in your local work environment, meaning on your computer, without connection to the internet. And then when you're ready, you can just transfer. But this is okay for now. 
So it's saving this, it's publishing it. So what I'm going to do is go back to the pages again and just repeat the process. All right. There is a plugin which I will which I will install that might save us some time, which is one of the, the plugins that I install. It's called cloning. It's, it's the clone app. So what it does is it literally just duplicates the post, to copy posts or copy post page clone. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, they're all the same. Duplicate page, why not? So now because we built off that one page, I I do want to work on the settings with that. Oh, it's because there's it's this page. I do want to work on the settings with this before I duplicate and clone. Um, if I ever need to use a page that's very similar to this, so like this 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 message box, it's not going to anyone, right? If someone fills it out, it's not going to anyone. Like this is all placeholder stuff. But if I wanted to reuse this, I would change everything on this page before I would duplicate it. But let's say I did, and I have that clone plugin, now I can go here and do click to clone, right? I can just click that. So I'm just gonna replace everything on that page anyway. So I'm gonna build this out, home two. I'm gonna change that to, let's see what I got here. I got contact and about. So let me do that, contact page. No. Contact. Oh, okay. It's like loading all these pages. Contact. And then make sure you change the slug here. Um, and go all the way down because Yoast isn't even installed. Great. So save draft. This one's up. This one's up out. That, save the draft. There's landing car rental. It's just a car listing. Yep. Oh, this isn't the same plugin that I normally use, but let's just uh, And refresh this. There's about contact. I'm just going to quick edit this. There's landing. So that's a slug. That doesn't matter. That's a slug. Uh, there's home. There's listings. Right. I'm just I'm just adding these in based on card listing page and card listings page. Okay. I'm just organizing this based on the input. page because there's one that hosts others it doesn't matter too much and then there's services all right all right so now that we have these out and that I was talking about FOMO earlier this is cool little plugin like this little thing pops up on there it says you're using this app uh, now that we have these, I want to be able to edit these quick. So I'm going to go open these up now that we have the pages. You either keep them or change them. So here's that about page. Actually, there's a faster way to go about that. Gosh, I'm doing this so many times you think I would have it written down. You just go preview. You just go directly to the page. If you go directly to the page, then you can access the, the builder right up here. So because these are all clones, uh,
Phew. All right, so now that we have these pages out, all right, this is what the home page looks like as of now, right? Uh, I still got to make sure I save some of these. But this is what the page looks like now. It's going to have all the things up here in alphabetical order. That's a default about contact home landing listing page listing service. Now we want to be able to organize these properly. So head over to the Divi Builder plugin, and then there's navigation. So we see that home is a page that is just going to be part of the top and it's organized by post title. We could organize it in any order. Uh, for now, I like to order it by, uh, there's, there's something called like menu order. Uh, we don't need home because it's going to show up anyway. So I'm going to click save changes. So now it's going to be organized due to the menu order and they're all going to be menu order zero or the default or whatever it is. So there's still another subtle nuance to set the pages. So head over to themes. You can go to customize. As you head down to customize, this is the default home page. You just head down to home page settings and it says I want it to be a specific post as a specific page. I want it to be this page and the post page. Um, just going to be whatever. So I'm going to click publish. And now this is the home page. This is the default home page, and this is just the stuff that's on top. So now we have a site that has seven pages. The extra three pages could be the the blog. Right? I took off the blog as a as an option, but we could have the blog up here. There could be a privacy policy in terms of service down here, which you can use a generator for that, and you can also uh, just build out extra pages as, as it comes to. Once you build out these pages and they're technically sound, then that's when we start to build out from them, right? That's when we start to build out. So there's some extra things here, but for now we have something going. And in the next video, I can